In this short video tutorial, I will show you the various editing controls that Quark Express gives you for an image. Here, I've brought in an image from Photoshop. This is a PSD. It's got a couple of layers. And I'll go to the Window menu in Quark and go to Advanced Image Control at the top and Window menu and down to Image Editing. The Advanced Image Control allows me to access the various layers and I can hide or show each layer. I can also select the layers and reduce the opacity for each if I so wish. And I can also change the blend mode for each layer as well. I can also access the channels. This image only has an RGB and a red, green, blue channel. But if there are others, I could access them as well. I hide or show them as you can see. And I can access the paths if I had them, but I've got no path set up here. That's the advanced image control. The image editing panel gives me access to the blend mode of the image as a whole, the opacity of the image as a whole, and also various uh, effects and adjustments. So if I go to the effects, I can add a trace contour, for example, and I can play around with the levels, as you can see. And I'll add another one. Uh, let's do a Gaussian blur increase that if I so wish and each effect can be hidden or all the effects can be hidden and I can delete an effect if I so wish uh, I can click on the little waste basket here to get rid of it again I have the blend modes as I said before uh, so uh, don't forget you can play around with those and I can also add an adjustment and so I can do level curves brightness contrast hue saturation and so on and so forth. Nice, simple and straightforward and it works very well. So it saves me having to jump back to Photoshop, uh, do an edit and come back here. And so these are the editing controls you get for images within Quark Express. Mm -hmm.